Hi friends, this is Shekhar Srinivasan, Microsoft Certified Trainer and an Architect. In this video, we shall understand how to work with Bootstrap 3 forms. We shall understand how to work with the default forms in Bootstrap 3. And also, we shall understand how to prepare an inline forms and horizontal forms with the support of Bootstrap 3. Now, let's try to understand practically with the demo. I already opened my Visual Studio.net and made my solution ready for supporting the bootstrap. Now let's try to add a web form. The name I try to provide as form demo. I would like to provide a title using forms with bootstrap 3. To support the bootstrap, let me just try to bring in the bootstrap main.css. Now let's try to start working with how we can able to prepare an efficient forms with the support of Bootstrap 3. To do that, let me just try to take a class called as a container. Now, in order to have the form, what I try to do is form role equal to form. So this is going to provide us the default look and feel for this thing. And in order to provide the controls, what I can do is, I can take a div class where I say form group. And within this, we can take a label for, I would like to provide the label for the username. And this username I would like to collect it from a text box. So I say input type equal to text, class equal to, whenever you wanted to provide a form control, you have to use a class called test form control. Placeholder, I try to say, enter email ID. So if I want to provide a username, I just give it some particular placeholder. Likewise, what we can do is, we can try to add any number of things. So I can take a class, once again I say form group, then label for, I provide it as password, the label I just give it as password, input type equal to password, class what we have to do is, form control, I just say password. So this is a simple form what we have created and Bootstrap by default projects the information in this way. Now in case if I wanted to provide some kind of checkboxes what I can do is I can take a class called test checkbox and we can say label input type equal to checkbox and I provide some text for example saying that remember me. So once I close the div tab, I would like to provide a button type equal to for example submit class let's say btn btn primary and I just say login. So this is a simple form design what we have done. Let's try to execute and check out how this is going to look. So we can see that all the controls has been added. So we have something like username, a placeholder that has been available and this. By default whenever we try to use a form elements, depending upon the parent element, it will try to occupy the entire space. In case if you wanted to reduce the size, then what we can do is, we can just try to specify the columns in which you wanted to define. For example, I say I wanted to have only half of this thing. So column MD6 I just mentioned. So this, this entire form what we have, this entire form will be displayed in this way. So you can just specify observe that this has been reduced to half of the thing. Depending upon the parent control size, automatically the form control gets rearranged. 
Now, the default functionality of working with this particular forms is in this way. Now, the next thing that we would like to understand is if I am not interested in placing the controls one below the other, if I wanted to place the controls horizontally and I wanted to design something, if that is the case, let's see how we can able to design it. So to do this, let's try to check out. So I'm just trying to take a row separator. I say a header call test horizontal form minimum. Now whenever you have a requirement for supporting the horizontal form, what we can just do is Let's say I take a div class row. I say form class equal to. We have to inform that this is going to be a horizontal form row equal to form. And then we have to take the div. So I just try to specify a div form group. Once I just specify this, as usual, what we can do is we can specify the label for. I say I wanted to provide the label for username and when you wanted to design the form in a horizontal style for the label also we have to specify the class how many columns we wanted to occupy for the label for example I say column label uh, should occupy up to two columns and we know that for one row it will be uh, 12 column size and since it is going to be for the label we have to say that this is a control label and I would like to provide something called as username so once I just specify this within the form group next what I try to do is I take a div class and we can just specify the size so for example since I taken Two for the label, remaining 10 space, I will try to take it for my text box. I already informed that whenever we specify a control as a form control, it always takes the size of the parent. Since I said column MD10, whatever the size that is available, it gets occupied by the text box. So I say input type equal to text. Now class equal to, I mention as form control and uh, placeholder I say enter email and the ID I just specify it as username so this is one particular form group like once we are done with this next I wanted to have for the password also so what I can do here is whenever I wanted to work with the password I take the same thing div class form group label for password call md2 control label and I just specify the password now for this space what I do is div class equal to call md10 and I just say input type equal to text class equal to form control and placeholder I just specify it as password ID as password so we are going to occupy this thing I'll just try to check out once and uh, let's execute this thing so we can see that username password and this is going to occupy this entire 10 size Okay, now my next requirement is this remember me checkbox, I don't want it to place here, I want it to place below the password. If that is the case, what we can do is, when you want it to perform in that way, we can simply say div class equal to form group. And once I specify that, I don't want it to use these two things. And we notice this particular label is taking two columns. So what we can do here is, I can just simply say div class call md offset I just mention 2 and then what I can do here is once I just specify this particular thing I can just simply say 
bin class equal to checkbox and I can say label input type equal to checkbox and I just give a text called this remember me so this is a simple thing that what we just done so once we have this particular form group finally I would like to place the button so the same thing we do with bin class equal to form group and then I don't want to use two spaces so what I try to do is bin class equal to column MD offset iPhone 2 and I try to specify a button type equal to for example submit class equal to button and button primary I just provide something called this login I am just saying that offset equal to true but I am not informed the size of this thing now let's try to uh, execute this and check out how this is going to look like so you can see that this is your remember me and this checkbox has been added in this way what we can do is we can just make your forms very efficient with the support of bootstrap 3 hope you have enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed in preparing this video thank you if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel this encourages me to develop more and more videos thank you yours shaker